Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We have another hotel room tour for you here. Today we're in the Keisei Richmond Tokyo uh, Hotel near Onden Nakocho. I'll put the official name in the description in the title. This is a twin room so you get two twin size beds you can see here. They're actually very close together. Uh, you could actually push them together if you wanted to to make a very large bed. Above the headboard there is a light and on each side of the beds you have an outlet and USB port there. On this side you have the TV which you can actually select what kind of cleaning you want uh, per night if you stay multiple nights. They have a mode for saving water and energy so you just get new towels but they don't actually change the beds and things like that your trash can, your tissue holder, and phone there. You also get your clothes press, luggage rack, and some shoe accessories down there. You have a lot of hangers and also this uh, clothes spray, which is like a deodorizer, which is nice if you're here for multiple nights as well. Uh, the pajamas are usually on the bed, uh, but just, just put them up here uh, to get them out of the way. You do get two mugs, and you also get two cups here, you can see. You get your electric kettle, and you also have a foldable mirror down there, and more hotel information as well as the laundry bag and ethernet cable. Down below is the fridge. It's kind of tiny, but uh, does hold a number of things you can see here. You can even move the shelf if you want. Here's a sitting area with a small couch as well as the little accessory holder, your pen and notepad, and the cable here for charging your devices, uh, which you can use with multiple devices. There's multiple attachments there, as you can see, as well as the remote for the TV. There is an air purifier slash humidifier in the room as well. You can see the different features here. I only used it for the air purification, but you can also use it for humidifying in the winter if you're here. A small clock on the night or the headboard here. And not much for the view, uh, just some other buildings outside. Today it's raining, so it's a bit cloudy, but you can see here what you can see outside this room. And another cool thing about this hotel is that the bedroom area can be closed off from the entryway in the bathroom area, so there's a sliding door here. And next to the sliding door is the climate control for the room. You can set it to auto, you can also set it to just the fan, just heating, just cooling. So quite feature rich. Here's the temperature control and the fan speed control, as well as the on and off switch. And next we'll move on to the entryway and bathroom area. So now we are in the entryway. And as usual, there's the slot to turn on the electricity in the room with the key holder, light controls, and you can actually put a magnet on the door if you don't need to have your room made up. Save water and energy. There's the entryway mirror as well as uh, hooks. You can use the hangers or just hang your jackets and whatnot on the entryway hooks as well. There are two pairs of slippers right under the entryway hooks there. And then we have the bathroom, pretty standard Japanese hotel bathroom. Of course, have your fancy toilet controls here for bidet and temperature control, two toilet paper roll holders, and excuse the trash, trash can, fancy toilet, and hair dryer with two cups. All the amenities are in the lobby that you can pick up as you need. Your two bath towels and two face towels slash hand towels. And then the line of cosmetics here is Mikimoto. And these are the larger uh, containers to be refilled, also to save on waste. The water pressure was great, as well as the temperature was good as well. 
and as usual there is a bathtub. Uh, this is standard for most Japanese hotels as the Japanese like to take baths often. Same for the hand soap, but there's the same line of uh, cosmetics there, you can see. Also the hand, or sorry, the sink for your washing your hands and face also has great pressure and the temperature was also good too. So there we have it for the tour of this hotel room and I'll be bringing you another one very soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Well, one cool thing I forgot to mention about the TV is that you can also check the laundry status of the washing machines. So if you just go over to laundry status, you can see all the different laundry machines. There are two floors and two machines each. So you can see which machines being used, which is vacant and which ones have just had clothes sitting in them for a while. And then you can also see the costs and the capacity for the laundry machines, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to uh, monitor them as closely. You can just check the status here and see where you can do your laundry.